tangent to a circle this is the one we're gonna be learning in this video what do we mean by tangent or uh, to a circle we're gonna be learning that to identify the properties of this tangent to this circle and so forth so let me just draw a quick diagram of it and so I have this compass I'm gonna draw my circle okay and then I'm gonna draw a line here and this is the topic that we are getting into all right this is the center okay so this is O this is T this is B and this is A the labeling is not really important in the sense that you need to state it in that way it's up to you how you want to state it but this piece is the part that we are interested in this piece here this point so I'm gonna draw I am okay let's not draw the line first at this point let's label this part what are the all of these I'm gonna use my black pen here so it could it could be much more visible okay so this point here this T is known as the point of contact or in other words it is the point of tangency what does that mean okay very very important for us to understand what does this mean right so it is simply telling that at any point at any time a line passes right there and it touches the circle at some point where the radius from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle touches the, that line that is the point of tangency and that can only be one point however there are multiple points around the circle okay so there are multiple tangency that and that we can look at so let me write some notes on this and so we can proceed with this topic here a tangent a tangent of a circle and this is what we are interested in tangent of a circle let me underline that so you keep track of that part there a tangent of a circle is perpendicular to the radius okay what does that mean okay we're gonna understand right now of that circle okay of that circle at the point of contact okay so what is saying a tangent of a of a circle tangent of a circle is perpendicular which means at 90 degrees okay at 90 degrees to the radius of that circle at the point of contact so this point here this here is 90 degrees that's what that means all right so this inf this first statement is telling you that this point at the way when there's a point of contact or point of tangency that is a 90 degrees angle that they make all right so let me continue with some more explanation note very important that you note this this straight line which is a b that i'm talking about again it is just a label is drawn outside very important outside the circle so as to touch a single point and that single point is what we are trading only on the circumference therefore the point is called the point of contact or point of 
tangency it is just stated everything what we are just observing right there okay so nothing more than that so this now let me put some label here also this is the radius so we are talking from the center to the point of contact okay so that's the radius all right so that's by definition that we are talking about so that there must be a 90 degrees there now let's try to do some examples okay and so let me pull up some examples right now i'm gonna pull an example like this and let me draw the circle here i'm gonna draw this circle bear with it a small circle so you can fit everything on one page have a circle there so let me make it better so you can see it this is example one example one okay now i'm going to draw a line here also and i'm going to put my point of contact right up here to this line Okay, so that means that there is a point of contact there and I'm going to draw this line going this way and I'm going to draw this line from the center to here so we can see that that's a 90 degrees and this next point here. Okay, this is just an example that we are using. So I'm going to label this here O, T, B, A. I'm going to call this one here x and this one here y those are the two angles which we are going to be looking for so let me give an explanation on the problem right here it states um, given given ot is a radius at times they will tell you or they may tell you based on the diagram of the circle okay and a t is a tangent state an expression expression for x in terms of y See an expression for x in terms of y. What this is simply telling me is that make out an equation where x is a subject of the sentence, right? So x is what we would be looking for in this problem. So how do we work this out? Okay, so let me do the, the working with red pen, right? Solution. Solution. Let's start. OT equals OB. OT equals OB because they are the radius correct so radii for plural of it of the same circle right and angle o b t you may put a little symbol up there equals o t b o b t and o o b t and o t b which are given by the letter y all right and y okay let's give an explanation base angles of isosceles triangle i'm going to write the symbol instead of writing the word I triangle okay so that's one of the facts now o t a angle o t a we know that's a 90 degrees equals 90 degrees y angle between radius and tangent at a point of contact remember this is our topic that we are looking at okay considering now consider 
triangle ATB. So let's consider triangle ATB. ATB, this whole triangle here, okay? This is Y, this is Y. So let me put Y here also. This is Y. We know that now. So we know this is 90. So we can say that this angle plus whole of this angle plus this angle will give us 180 degrees. Then Y plus y plus 90 y plus y plus 90 degrees plus x is equals to 180 degrees y sum of angles of a triangle that is the grand total angle of a triangle so we get 2y plus 90 plus x equals 180 we're just trying to combine them now we get 2y plus x equals 180 take away 90 degrees giving us 2y plus x equals 90 degrees because we subtract and then we keep x by itself here we bring the 2y to the next side that gives us x equals 90 degrees take away 2y and so this is our expression for x in terms of y okay so let me put stop it there so what we have done solve or rearrange this total angle of the triangle in terms of x making x the subject of the sentence just rearranging everything so we can get x by itself so that's the first example that we have there okay so at the end you can even go ahead and state that that's your solution you may underline it or you may write a statement at the bottom and simply put hence let's make it much more better hence okay the required because it's a required expression expression is x equals 90 degrees take away 2y that's our required expression so that's our um, problem which we have just solved right there okay let's go for another one okay so here we have example two okay here we have a circle so let's analyze the diagram we have a circle we have a line from point a going to point t where is the point of tangency because we know that that's true um, this is the radius and we know that once it contacts with the radius tip it must be a point of tangency we know that the angle here subtended is equal to 65 so let's see what the problem states consider EAT EAT which is this line is a tangent to the circle so we are being told that it's a tangent and OA OA is a straight line so this is a straight line if AOT equals 65 degrees calculate now OAT so we want to find out what is the size of this angle okay so what is it that we know so for our solution let me write it here solution it's going to be in red so as to differentiate it we know that o t a o t a is a 90 degrees because it's a tangent by definition equals 90 degrees angle between radius and tangent okay at a point of contact at a point of contact now consider now because we need to consider triangle o t a consider triangle o t a or a o t or t a o it doesn't make a difference we're just going to consider this triangle now all right what is it that we know what is it that we don't know and what is it that we want well we know that we have 65 here we know that we have 90 so we are short of one of the angles from the triangle then so we can put here then 65 degrees plus the 90 degrees plus the unknown which we want here let's call that x all right we can call it in any letter but i'm going to call it x equals 180 degrees y sum 
of angles of a triangle okay so 155 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees so x equals 180 take away 155 x equals then to 25 degrees so that's our solution for that particular problem hence just state that that's the answer okay don't just leave it just like that expect the examiner to know that that's what you mean as a final answer hence oat which we want equals 25 because remember we never did state who, who who is actually x but by definition we know from this diagram all right or we could have said, stated here let x equal oat all right we can do that so that's our second example of how we work it out all right let's go to our third example okay so here we have example three we have a triangle here inscribed and now this is going towards the left hand side that's not a problem consider ta is a tangent so we know this is a tangent and since it's a tangent we know for sure that this is 90 degrees so we start to put our labels there to so the circle and ot here is a straight line given that o t a equals 23 degrees we find t a o find no t o a we want to find out what is this angle okay so that should not be a problem for us to solve again you can give it a label i'm going to call it x so for our solution to this problem is as follows we're going to say now state whatever you know about it state what you have been given and you work with that okay so i'm going to put this here and i'm going to state now that t a o t a o equals 90 degrees why because it's an angle between radius and tangent at at point of contact we know by definition we know by theorem by by the rule that it must be 90 degrees so consider now triangle O T A. O T A. We're going to consider this triangle now. Then 23 degrees plus 90 degrees plus the X, which is the unknown, equals 180 degrees. Why is that? It is the sum of angles of a triangle. That's by rule. Therefore, 23 plus 90. That gives us 113 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. x is then equal to 180, take away 130. x is equal then to 67 degrees. Hence, TOA equals 67 degrees. And we finish with that problem right there. Okay? So that's for the third example.